Hi, I'm John Williams with Space Intelligence and I'm at the Goddard Space Flight Center and right next to building number one. This was the first building built in 1959 to 1960 that was the first ever on the Goddard complex here. And now it's still here and they've just expanded upon it. But we're gonna go inside and see what Goddard truly has to offer and what it still contributes to space. This is a government facility. People need, you need to show your passport and security to get in here. So yeah, we're entering the building right now. So as you can see, it's got the 1960s vibe and colors of what a 1960s building would look like. It's just amazing. This is building 29, the integration and testing facility where they build and they assemble the largest satellites that go up into space. There's a huge clean room. We're gonna see a bunch of satellites that haven't launched yet. And this is just gonna be such an eye-opening experience. Now we're at the INT complex, which is the integration and testing facility, where they assemble some of the most advanced and largest satellites and telescopes that we produce. So look at this room. It's called the clean room because it's very clean. All the air in here, it's constantly circulated through using laminar flow. So look at all the scientists down there and engineers. And if you look up, there's a big wall of air filters. This is how clean this room is. No dust or outside particles are allowed in here. The pressure of this room is actually kept at higher than the outside normal atmosphere. So if there's a leak, the air will, from here will rush out and the contaminated um, air from outside will not rush in. So look at all this. Right now they're assembling the Nancy Grace Romans Telescope which will be the next most advanced telescope after the James Webb. And this was the room where they assembled the James Webb Space Telescope. It was right here. The huge monster of a telescope was right here. We could have seen it years ago. As they rotated it upwards towards our viewing platform. And now the Roman telescope is going to launch. In the next four or five years. And these are all the components laid out on the floor. So you can see like the base right there with like 42 miles of wiring. Then you have all these components that are put on these racks. And there are workers down there who are. Engineers in bunny suits are using. The bunny suits keep them from contaminating the uh, materials here that uh, go into space. And then you have the general shape of the telescope. With those solar panels on it. And then up near the top of the room at the roof is a 35 ton crane that can move these ginormous satellites and parts around whenever they're needed. So this room's pretty incredible. I mean, I mean, it's literally all of this will be in space in the next, and soon enough, and then we'll start another program and you'll see another different satellite in here. But just walk over here real quick. This is truly a pioneer in space. And you know, there's the communications part for the telescope right there. And as you can see here, the engineers are attaching the communications disc to a part that will be on the base of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. So cool. And this is the largest class 10 clean room in the entire world. So now I'm in the high bay next to the clean room. Look at this place. It's massive. And they assemble a huge part of their telescopes and they bring in, you know, parts that were manufactured across the country and they build their um, satellites and telescopes. So this is the big door right here that leads into the clean room, the super purified air, where they have real flight hardware, where the, the telescope in there right now is being built for space. So this is gonna be the uh, assembly structure where they put it on, where they can transport it to the launch site. Look at it, it's so cool. And they actually, and they have, um, they blow air under these uh, supports so they can actually like move it like um, pucks go on an air hockey table so they can kind of slide it across the floor to like a truck that's going to take it out. But of course they have um, 35 ton cranes up there that can transfer these huge loads into uh, the rim and whatnot. And they also have a mobile crew room where they're actually, this is flight hardware. This is the base of the telescope that's gonna go into space. So this room is not completely sealed, but they're gonna transfer this hardware into that room, but it's a mobile area with extra room so they can work on it in here. And this is the vibration test stand where they put the James Webb Space Telescope not long ago. 
and they shook it really hard to simulate the conditions of launching on a rocket because this super complex machine here, it needs to be able to survive a rocket launch to get to space. This is the exact platform it was on, and this is where they're gonna put the Nancy Grace um, Roman telescope on this exact platform to test it. This is the acoustic test cell room. One of the largest room, one of the largest test cells on the planet. We have these huge kind of speakers that can blast out 150 decibels on whatever's inside here. So that's equivalent to an F-16 engine right next to your ear. So that would that is incredibly loud. And this is the cryo vacuum test chamber where they put their large telescopes and satellites in to recreate the environment in the vacuum of space. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope was, space telescope was tested and it's where other ones will be. And it's where many were before. And this is also an extra structure right here where they can create an even more pure environment. It's so cool. This has got to be one of the coolest things you will never see. This is the centrifuge here at the Goddard Space Flight Center. Look at this thing. It's massive and it, it fills up this entire room and this whole room is circular. So basically this huge metal structure will spin on this, on this thing right here. It will spin so fast generating winds up to 350 miles per hour. Insane. And it can pull 30 G's and a G is one earth gravity. So imagine being crushed by 30 of earth's gravities. That's how fast and violent this thing is. So on one side we have a weight. That used to be a pressure ve vessel where they would put instruments in and suck a vacuum so it would be like space and then spin it really fast. But it's filled with concrete now, so that's the weight. On that side of the centrifuge, right there, is where they put the instruments for upcoming telescopes and spacecraft and they spin them really fast to see if they can withstand the forces of space or launching uh, on a rocket. This thing's absolutely massive. It takes one gigawatt of power to power. One gigawatt. That could that could power 750,000 homes or even more than that. It takes that much power. And that's why it's not going to be so, so cool. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. But yeah, this is how they test them. And this room is massive and it echoes a lot because it's gotta be completely secure. But oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is just one of the coolest rooms here. So now I'm going into Building 28, which is the Communications and Relay Building, where they do a bunch of their broadcasts for NASA, like even the most, the biggest events where they release a James Webb Space Telescope image or do a live stream for the astronauts. And a bunch of the astronauts that are going into space go to this building so they can be broadcasted on public affairs. It's really awesome, and let's go inside. So this building at Goddard is the communications building where they do a bunch of their broadcasts. They make animations for spacecraft and they just do a bunch of stuff that's public affairs. It's so cool, so open. And this is my favorite room. This is where they do a, a large part of their broadcasts for their, for their missions when they're talking about or releasing images from James Webb or talking about um, a capsule that just came back from space like Osiris Rex. And this is really cool. This is their media room. So if, this is really the heart of, you know, NASA's image to everyone. It's really amazing. This is the director's chair. So hopefully I'll be here someday. And this is where they broadcast their live streams. Look at all this. They got their whole like mission control set up as if they're watching a space launch. They got all these TVs to look at every angle. This is really amazing. And it's so cool to be standing in this room. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and check out another video. Like the video and have a great day. Our mission is to make you space intelligent.